Hello, uh, Eben from Easy Switchcare, and today we are going to talk about VPIS. Now, what is VPIS? It stands for Voltage Presence Indication System. And that is a piece of equipment that we see on the switchgear that helps us to work safely. So, number one, what is a VPIS? A VPIS consists of a capacitive divider, which is part of your bushing in the, in the switchgear and then also the VPIS equipment itself, the visible portion of it, which you will find on the front of your switchgear. So the VPIS has got lights and it's got a measuring point where you can measure the, that there is voltage present. And how does it do it? The voltage that goes in, in your system, whether it is 11 or 12 or 22, 24 kV that goes into your switchgear, there's a capacitor around it that divides a very specific amount of capacitance that divides the voltage for you. And therefore you will see uh, about 90 volts at uh, 11 kV coming off from this point here, which is part of your capacitive divider. And then it goes to your circuitry and this circuit will have three lights for line one, line two, line three and then also your three measuring points if you want to measure with your own multimeter. Now, what can you do with a VPIS? Number one, you can see that there is a voltage present on your cables, on your bushings, and that can help you to be safe, to not close the earth onto a live cable. Maybe it's a feeding cable. You opened the isolator and you can still see the lights are on. It means that there is a voltage present on the cable. If you close the earth onto that live cable, you will make some quite interesting sparks. The other thing that you can do is phasing. When you have two sources, one coming into the one side of your switchgear and the other one coming in on the other side of your switchgear, you can then make sure that line one is line one, line two is line two, and line three is line three. And that you can do with a multimeter by taking two VPISs, the one on the either side, and measuring from line one to line one, it should be zero volts because it should be the same voltage. If you measure a different voltage between the two, it means that they are out of phase. And then line two to line two should give you zero. And the same with line three to line three give you zero. Then you know that your two sources are at least in phase. Uh, and that is if there's no synchronization involved, for which these should never be used to, to measure for synchronization because there is a little bit of a phasing shift that's happening. And then the second thing that you have to do is to make sure that when your, real, when your switch kit is tested, that they actually make sure that line one is line one, and line two is line two, and line three is line three. Otherwise, you might have phasing issues, and because it's compact switch gear, phasing sticks tend to not work as well. You cannot easily phase in a small compartment and that's why these VPISs are so handy and so necessary. And the other thing is that you cannot use this, use this for measurement. You cannot measure the voltage on there and say, my voltage is this and my voltage is that. The reason for that is that you, uh, the, the accuracy of these are not 100%. They are using uh, the 5% resistors and equipment and therefore there can be quite a bit of difference between what you measure and what is actually there. And that is it for a VPIS. A VPIS is a very, very helpful piece of equipment. It can help you and save you a lot of trouble. Make sure your VPIS lights, lights stays on and that they are working properly. If they don't work properly, you might get in a situation where you think you've lost the phase, but meantime, it was just the light. So always measure if the light is out of your multimeter to make sure that your cables are dead. One more thing to remember is that the VPIS is just an auxiliary safety device. It is not the ultimate test for a cable that is dead. In that case, you always, when you open your cable, you have to test physically with your safety tester, with your voltage presence tester, the handout safety devices to make sure that your cable is is dead before you can work on it. Please do not use the VPIS as your only means of safety and never ever 
take shortcuts on your safety procedures. Always lock out, tag out, always test and earth and work safely. Every bushing has got a different capacitive value and therefore your, your bushing and your capacitive and your measurement device must be of the same capacitance. So they must be set up for the same capacitance. In this case, you can see one of the brands that we use, the Chris, where they are using a wheel where you can select which uh, capacitance is on the bushing. And by, by using this wheel, you can use it on different voltages and on different uh, bushings. So this is one brand with an attachment where you can select the capacitance and it will give you a lot of flexibility.